California's Democratic Senator Barbara Boxer is aiming for her fourth term in office, and her Republican challenger Carly Fiorina is using that very fact to attack her opponent. But not Barbara Boxer's. Since she went to Washington, her taxpayer-funded salary has more than doubled. Corporate jets. 100 million for herself. Fiorina never cared about our jobs. Not then and not now. Of the two major political races in California, Boxer is the only incumbent. The candidates have arguably spent more time and money on ads trying to define one another to voters than defining themselves. And the fact is my opponent does not support taking away the tax breaks for companies who ship jobs overseas. And all the while, what has Barbara Boxer done? She has been in Washington, D.C. for 28 years. Fiorina is the former CEO of Hewlett Packard, a political novice and a social conservative. But she's been more vocal about economic policy, tax cuts, deregulation, and slashing government spending. She argues these ideas will create jobs in a suffering California economy. I have been consistent in talking to the people of California about what they care about because it's the same things that I care about. We have to create more jobs in this state. Senator Boxer is campaigning as a progressive stalwart on social, environmental, economic and civil rights issues. On economics, Boxer says green energy jobs will save the Golden State. But even in a state which overwhelmingly supported Barack Obama in 2008, Barbara Boxer still seems to have a fight on her hands with her challenger. A lot of these races across the country are coming down to the wire. And, and I, as far as I'm concerned, I believe our race is coming down to the wire, and I believe we're ahead, but only if the people get to the polls. Well, Barbara Boxer, given the uh, distribution of the state in terms of partisanship, uh, which is to say a 13-point uh, registration advantage for Democrats over Republicans, ought to be doing better than she is in this election. Jane Jun, a political science professor and pollster, says Boxer needs to overcome antipathy towards incumbents, while Fiorina can capitalize on it. And part of that could be in the fact that Boxer hasn't advertised as strongly on the issues in her issue positions such as on the environment or on gun control or on abortion as she has until fairly recently. Although Boxer has widened her lead in the polls, there is some cause for concern. There's still about 10 percent undecided in the latest field research poll. And that's enough to give a glimmer of hope to Fiorina's campaign. John Moan, The Associated Press, Los Angeles.